cracking guys welcome back to telltales the walking dead season three episode five finally we're on episode five. Oh, i just want this to be over and done with i've this yeah i'll give all my thoughts at the end but i it's a spoiler alert it's not gonna be good it's not gonna be good episode five is not gonna be uh yeah episode five is not gonna be good i uh <clears throat> And my review at the end, it's so oh, not going to be good. Not going to be good. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble. You know the story. So we're just going to jump straight into it. Previously on The Walking Dead. Whatever this thing is between us... I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'm in. All the way. Oh my god, really? Really. Just look what he's done. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? That's... that's right. You've put me in a no-win situation here. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. Let Ava live. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go to hell, Joan! <coughs> it's Kate! She's coming for us! Oh, shit! <coughs> oh, God! While we're still breathing, Javi, I'm letting the bone speak to me. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, I think I can hear them. They're saying, You're gonna lose, come mierda, so play already. I must have inherited patience from Ma. Oh, come on, man. Calm down, they. Like the domino to play. No one is ever in a rush to lose. But. What my are these beer's sticks? getting warm. Drink One, faster. Five. Deuce five. I don't I, I don't play fucking dominoes. What the hell? I don't know, Deuce Five. If he plays his last bomb. You're out of the will, Javier. Kicked out of baseball. Can't play dominoes. What exactly are you good at again, Javi? At least I can actually play baseball. Slugger. That's enough, both of you. It's not Javi's fault. He's a disgrace to the game of dominoes. I won. That's ten bucks you owe me. Both of you. I know you're broke, Javi. You should sit out the next game, since we all know I'm gonna win. No shame in surrender. Yeah, You'd all understand. Good game. Good game, David. Nicely played. Nice or not, a win is a win. Pay up, little brother. If you can. I'll cover for Javier. Oh, is it your turn to do that now? I lost track. Poor, helpless Javi. Get my wallet, mijo. Keep an eye on him. You don't want him snatching an extra 20 for gas money. It's on the counter. Yeah. Sure, Pa. The wallets. Pa? What's this? Hey, man, I was reading that. 
What? Wait, what's up? What the fuck is this? None of your business. He has cancer. What? Bob, really? I'm old. Old people get cancer. You didn't need to know. That's not for you to decide. Uh, oh, yeah, why didn't you tell us? You really should have told us. It's the right thing to do. It's my cancer. I get to do whatever I want. You know now. What difference does it make? How bad? It's okay, mijo. Ask me. How bad is it? You won't have to worry about paying me back that ten bucks. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Pa. Hey, settle, David. Now. You haven't told Mama. And neither will either of you. You hear me? Mouth shut. Surely you've got to tell her. That's not okay, Pa. You have to tell her. When the time is right, I, I will. That's not good enough. It's good enough for me. You're gonna need her help with this, Pa. Driving you to the doctor, getting prescriptions. Wait, what are your options? Treatment, stuff like that. Chemo, radiation, all that expensive mierda. Great. When do you start? I turned it down. Turned it down? You don't get to turn it down. So much money and for what? Another month, another game of dominoes to lose? It's not worth it. If I was still playing ball, I could have paid for it. I'll pay for it. It's not happening. Save your money. Fuck the money. I can afford it. You can afford it, David. But my pride can't. Let's play another game. You are a fucking coward. A selfish coward. Whoa, what Bobby, the fuck? can you believe fuck? this shit? What the fuck, David? Apologize now. Sit down. I get that you're angry that he didn't say anything, but it's still his choice. You know, I pray for daughters. <laughs> Every night your mother was pregnant with both of you. Please, God, a daughter. Anything but a son. Anything but another me. Anything but another hot-headed idiot with his heart in the right place. Anything but another foolhardy, handsome gambler. Anything at all. Please, Papa. Don't give up. Fight. Fight for our name. For our blood. For our family. Please, fight. Well, either, either of these is, is good, isn't it? It's your life, Pa. Live it however you want. For as long as you want. You're both the same. Only thinking about yourselves. Uh, don't worry, Pa. He'll come around. You should have supported him. Wait, what? I'm on your side. Still, I'm gonna be a name carved in stone before you know it, Javier. That'll be me. Letters on a rock that nobody wants to visit. I know you think you're strong enough to handle that alone. And so does your brother. And you're both wrong. You have to take care of each other. You two are all I'll leave behind. Like Gabe and Mariana will be for David. Legacy, Javier. It's all anyone leaves behind. That and their... bones. Be brothers. Before it's too late. That's not too much to ask. One last favor for your old man. But it's up to him, really. If he tries, I'll try too. That's the best I can do. He will try, Javier, if you show him the way. I still need to pay, David. Pa. Oye, if you had just won the game, we wouldn't have had this problem. <laughs> so you're blaming me for all this. I'm depending on you, mijo. We both are. I mean, it, it is his choice at the end of the day. This.
there are a lot of people that when they get old and shit just happens, that they just can't be, they can't be bothered anymore. Like, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, my grandfather unfortunately passed away the same way when he died. Well, fuck you! Bloody phones on me keyboard! Uh, whoops. <laughs> Your phone's on my keyboard. So, uh, <clears throat> I didn't get to the keys correctly. But anyway, before we just begin, yeah, like, my grandfather with this was the same uh, before he died. Like, he had dementia and stuff. And he was like, I'm 90. I've done it all. I just want to, you know, I, I just want to die because I'm just tired. You know what I mean? And I think people get like that when they're old as well. They're like, you know, I've lived for so many years. I'm just tired now. I just, I just want to die. And my grandfather was the same before he died. So there are a lot of people that like that. I mean, yes, there are other old people who get cancer, dementia, uh, Al Alzheimer's, stuff like that. You know, they're like, they want to live. They want to live. They want to keep going and keep going. And then there are some that just, just have had enough, you know. They've lived, they've lived for a long time. They've done what they need to do. And it's like, I, I just, I just want to die. So, I, I, I can kind of understand where he's coming from. It's like, well, look, things are going to happen. It's going to happen either way. I'm just accepting it. So, sorry. There's, yeah. <laughs> Did we try this again? This time without missing the keys on the keyboard. This time, Q. Yay! He shot her. Left. Was like Kate escaped the truck. What aim for head? You just wasted three bullets there, dude. You could have done it in one. out before she uh before she crashed didn't she Kate Gabe David over here where's Kate she's not here she must have gotten out if something's happened to her if you've gotten her you better hope she's alive shut Just up help me find her shut up help me exactly Shut up and help me find her, for you? fuck's sake. Instead of bitching, Kate! moaning, and complaining. I want to pop Kate! at me every time. Kate! David, wait! That you're alive. I thought I lost you back there. The same. What the hell's the matter with you two? Focus on your surroundings. There's Gabe and Clem. Lead the way, Javi. He took that. Awfully okay. Get the knee like this. Oh, nice. 
I got a there great go. teacher. You guys well, all right? I had a great teacher as well. You're Jane. Yeah. I'm fine. Look at them. There's so many. We'll be safer inside. Get in. The fucking dead. No frontier. Yeah, he took that awfully like. Hmm. I, I, I honestly, I expected him to like smack us in the face and then attempt to shoot us. Now. You put up a good fight out there. Hey, Dad. I'm glad you made it out. Joan's probably looking for us. No, she isn't. Javi shot her. What? Good riddance. You were negotiating. I heard you. You didn't have to shoot. Everyone started panicking uh, and shooting. Excuse me. We almost died. You know what Joan's done. Prescott, Mariana. Oh wait, no, we did gone shoot Joan because of her. I couldn't trust her to keep her word. We'll never know now. Javi's right. Joan had to go. I would have done it too. That's because you don't mind killing people, do you? Those dead guys, they were your friends. Gabe, that's not fair. Hey, you do not walk away from me. When someone speaks to you, you stand up and answer them. Even if you don't want to. Uh... David, that's enough. He's not a little boy. He doesn't need that from you. What he needs is to learn to keep his opinions to himself until he understands what the hell he's talking about. I'm just... I'm trying to protect you, Gabe. I lost you once. I won't let it happen again. Okay? We made it through alive. Let's just be glad about that. We need to check the other entrances. Make sure we're safe. Gabe, want to help me out? Javi? Gabriel! Uh, just go, but be careful. Just be careful, buddy. A lot of muertos out there. Gabe and I will watch each other's backs. I'll help too. Okay. Hey, Clem's with them. It's fine. It's not that. It's... let's just... <sighs> I'm all over the place. I need to focus on something. Anything. Just need Escaping? to focus. On whatever. Uh, let's just safe place. The further we are from these doors, the happier I'll be. I just want to get as much distance between us and the muertos as I can. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go. This is a fucking nightmare. Mommy, it's them. Hi. I'm glad Mariana didn't live to see this. To see what her father's become. To see what I've done. She'd be just like that little boy. Scared that the monsters are coming after her next. She would never trust us again, and I wouldn't blame her. Kate, hey, come on. We're not monsters. I don't know who we are anymore, but it's not the people she knew. Well, I mean, shit like this would change anybody. Don't just be. I did this to them. Naive. That hole is there because of me. This is all my fault. This yeah, is the happens. world we live in now. If it wasn't this today, it'd be some other shitty thing tomorrow. The world didn't do this. I did. I can't leave until I make this right. All of this. Let's fix this as best we can. Oh. Fine. All right, Kate. Let's make things right. I don't know if it's actually possible, but I feel a lot better knowing you're there too. 
I mean, personally, I just say, well, you know, shit happens, but... She's probably never going to forgive it, for, forget it. She's never going to forgive me for not going with it and trying to help the others. Let's just get it over and done with. Just fix things. Hey, I mean, at least Eleanor. We've, we've still got Eleanor. You've got a lot of nerve showing up here after the bullshit you pulled. You're unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh... Oh. Oh, I've got a lot of nerve. Everything that happened is because of you. This is all your fault. I told you I didn't want to leave. You didn't listen. Joan did. Why did you tell Joan what we were doing? I was triaging a bad situation. Their doctor is dead. And before you guys fucked it up, their walls worked. It's not only about me. I can actually save lives here. Not just stitch them up and hope for the best. These people will die without me, Javi. I know she... Well, fucked us over. But she's trying to help them. She's trying to make something right. That's worth forgiving, right? She's trying. That counts. <sighs> Gotta earn it. She's doing a good thing now. But she's got a long way to go before I forgive her. <laughs> You're one to talk. We should try to help. Not everyone here is guilty. Did you see the little girl out there? She was right behind me. I'm sorry. I haven't seen any little girls. First Rufus. Oh, my baby girl. She knew Rufus. He was her husband. Until you shot him in the back. She's one of my people, Eleanor. What's going on with her? She'll be all right. She's not bitten or anything. She lost her daughter out there. I know. I'm so sorry. Oh, Christ. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Tell me about it. Give <sighs> her some privacy. It's the least we can do. I want to help you. Okay. Well... What the? We're all fucking dead because of you! Hey, easy. You We're... blew a um... hole in our wall! Got my little girl killed! Richmond was fine until your stupid easy ass showed up. We're dead fucking meat, David. Might as well take out this asshole while I can. Fern. Shut up! Uh, you're not even pointing you're the gun at my face. This wasn't my fault. You shot Joan. Guns don't just fire on their own. Stand down. That's yes, an order. I did shoot Joan. Kate, no. Fern, this is all because of me. I caused the explosion. I killed your daughter. Please, forgive me. It's my fault. Please. Oh, we've lost family too. I am begging you. I hardly have any family left. Please don't take any more away from me. David, you could have just taken oh the fucking god. gun, you dickwad. Oh my god, Dad. You're welcome, Javi. That dead guy. David, what are you doing? This isn't right. David. Oh my god. Did you really need to break her arm? That wasn't necessary. Okay, don't thank me. Uh... No! David! Dave! I I I'm sorry, that was an accident. You were going to kill her. She was going for her gun. Look at her. Gabe, I'm... She can't even stand up. What the hell is wrong with you? That was unacceptable. It was over the line, Gabe. You're right. Gabe. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that to you. You know that. Why the hell are you all looking at me that way? They're just... They're scared, David. Of what? We did just I'm break a fucking them. arm Why for no are you reason. a gun at us? So I'm all alone. No, you're not all alone. Just calm the fuck down. 
All you had to do was just snatch the gun away from her. That's all you Fine, had man. to do, dude. You people are on your own. Such an asshole. What a prick. I've seen that look in his eyes before. You should go after him. Do you mind telling us what the look is about? That would be helpful, in, you know, to know the situation. But the point I was going to make was that while, yes, shit has gone wrong... David? What are you doing? Uh, just... Ju no, <laughs> as much as I'd love to. Come no, on. step back. Just take a step back. You wouldn't want to, you know, slip or something. Come over here. Or are you afraid of me too? I know the rest of them are. Right? Even Thanks, if they are, I'm not. I've dealt with scarier than you, brother. There's no if, Javi. They are. My wife, Javi. My son. They look at me differently. Maybe you're seeing them differently. I want to show you something. Stand with me. Fuck no! <laughs> no That's way! That's enough, man. Come on. You think I'm gonna stand on there when you when when you suspect me and your wife? Hell no! Hell no! Get fucked. Just, just stand down, man. That's an order. David. Thank you. I didn't expect you to understand. I want to change, Javi. I always have. Really? All you ever tried to do was get me to change. <sighs> Only because I couldn't bring myself to do it first. It's the one you war wanted I could to... never win. You wanted us to change the suit why. you. Is it because I don't know how? Or because it's impossible to change who you really are? There's always a way to change, but you you, you have There's to a way. believe in yourself. There always is. No matter how lost you are, you just have to but keep need, looking until you find it. Looks you pretty need messy. the right for now. The right help though. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Just gotta live long enough to find out. Just like with anything else. I found them! They're up here! Be careful, Javi. I ran into... Oh, He was still outside hi. when we checked on the entrances. The muertos were everywhere. We got him inside just in time. So we let him in. There were so many muertos <laughs> out there. <laughs> this is awkward. Well, this won't be awkward whatsoever. Uh, trip. About earlier. Yeah, about that. I ain't gonna punch you in the teeth. Though, I got every right. Really? Uh, I think we were kind of expecting figured it. figured you'd put up a little bit of a fight. Oh, I'd love nothing more, but... I just... Can't shake this slippery feeling I got. Like I'm standing in shoes that don't quite fit. You picked me to die, and someone else did instead. Ain't sitting right. Not one bit. Saw through her plan. I knew she wouldn't shoot you. I knew she was going to shoot Ava instead. Don't bullshit a bullshitter, partner. I ain't going to ask why you picked Ava. After Eleanor, I, I'm done trying to sort out what's in other people's hearts. Let's just figure out this shit before more piles on. There's so many. They're pouring in. It's even worse than you think. The streets are overrun. Nowhere to go except inside the buildings, and those smelly fuckers are beating down every door. We're sitting goddamn ducks here. Everyone in town is... Jesus Christ. What 
the fuck have we done? So what do we do? I don't want to die up here. None of us do, Gabe. Uh, we protect watch ourselves. out for ourselves. We're top priority. Absolutely. The best way to protect ourselves is to protect this place. Potentially, but with the streets compromised, we're gonna need some sort of reinforced mobility to get around. That armor truck you guys stole, there's more vehicles like that in the same place. That's over by the motor pool at the water tower. We could use the highway overpass to get to the water tower. Come on. Let's jump. Yeah. Come on. It's an easy jump. Okay. Who's gonna fall? Who do you think? No one. Oh. Well, are you boring? Keep your eyes open. Stay aware of your surroundings. All of you. Let's move out. When we found Kate earlier, she hugged you. Why do you think yes. she hugged you? Why was that? Uh, Just wondering. Uh, ask you really yourself. No. Then ask her. She won't even make eye contact with me. Hmm. We are at the end of the episode, but there's no good place to stop. Please, game, just give me a place where I can stop and end the episode. We need to be careful up here or else the exact same thing will happen to us. Stay sharp and do not fire your guns. We're gonna be fine. That guy was all alone. We're not. Uh, right, this is where I'm going to have to leave it because we are at the end of the episode. Everyone hold back. So, before we, before we be continue, uh, I'm going to have to stop it here, unfortunately, because we are at the end of the episode. There's no, again, th th my complaint is there's no good place to stop. Although I know this kind of wasn't made for Let's Players. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there's no good place to stop, so I have to stop it in the middle of dialogue and shit. Okay, my point, my thing was, that I was going to say earlier, is that, yes, <clears throat> while we did have a plan to kill Joan and to eliminate Joan, none of this would have happened if Eleanor hadn't have spoke to Joan. Like, I, mm, I, don't, I don't think that would have happened. If she hadn't have spoke to Joan, then I don't think things would have gone down the way it did. And we would have been able to get Joan, but that's not what happened, fortunately. Uh, tricky situation, tricky situation. The now David's flying off the handle and off the cuff. He, there, was, there was no need. There was seriously no need to break that woman's arm. He could have just taken the gun and had, a, and had done with it. Pointed it at her and said, you know, if you try that shit again, you're dead. And that would have been enough. That would have been enough. It was just, it was a threat. She knew how David was. You probably knew how strong David was and how serious he was, and that would have been enough. That that would have been enough for us to go. Yeah, okay. I'll. I'll. They was stupid of me. I'll not do it again. But no, he broke her arm in the process. Like, mm, a little bit overboard. A little bit overboard. But anyway, guys, thank you so very much for watching this episode, and I shall see you all next time as ever. Bye bye.